Okay, welcome back to Northern Ants Gaming. We're kind of taking a step back in time to 1981. <laughs> We're going to play some Galax... Gal Galligan? Galaga? Galaga, I think that's... Yeah, Galaga. A little vintage gaming going on. time when I, I think I had it on the Atari. <laughs> Don't want to try. Want to try not to kill all of those main. Oh, don't want to hit them. Well, I want to hit them once. Because if I can get them to capture me, then I can get two two ships at once. I'd like to try to get two ships at once right away. Cause then, come on, hit them. He almost got me. Yeah, he's not going to try to, um... I don't think he's going to try to catch me now. They'll come down and they'll warp you up. I think I'm going to have to pass on getting caught this time. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to pass on it this time. Don't be expecting too much of this. I'm not very good. <laughs> so. Hadn't played for a while, so maybe I'll have a little bit of beginner's luck on this first game back. Come on. Okay, that's what I want. I want to get them down to one more hit, so that when they come down to capture me, Oh, there we go. Okay, good. You would think that would be a bad thing, but it kind of is, but only if you only have one ship left. And now if I can actually get rid of the... Come on. Oh, no. I had to be... I had to get him when the other ship was bringing him down. No. Okay, well, that didn't work. If you... If you shoot the ship that's transporting him, it releases him, then you get two ships at one time. Which is really good because then you get, well, double the firepower. Yeah, my, uh, that's my high score. Because I'm the only one that plays this, so. game when I was a kid. Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, Defender. The game Combat was really fun. It was a early uh, like tank and plane kind of game, but it was like, but it was all pixels, basically. Or then we had Pong, too, when I was little. We had the, I think it was the Commodore, before we had the Atari. And we played Pong. That was so high tech. Yeah, 
can't say I let myself get captured purposely. But when you didn't, when I didn't re-get myself back, then it kind of... Oh, no. That usually happens when I f finally get my free guy. Oh, no. Oh, come on. <laughs> I don't lose a guy until like the ninth level. But obviously not this time. Oh. I like when they don't fire at you. Oh no! <laughs> Trapped in the corner. Oh, that was my last guy. Okay, we'll pull it. we'll do another one right away. Okay, this time I'll do better. Yeah. I want to get try to get that two ships so I can show you what it's like. This time. Ah. Oh no. Good, get me, get me, get me. There you go. Okay, now I can't screw this up because I already used one of my lives. So if I don't get him this time... <gasps> okay, good, there we go. Now I've got the two ships. That'll kind of make up for losing a guy so early on. And now I'm like, I've had times where I've finally got him, and then I lost one of the two, like, instantly. It's like... <laughs> so that's why I like having two ships. Oh, you still miss. Come on, get him, get him, get him! Shoot. That's what you want, to get those extra points. So we can get our free guy. Fire so much more rapidly with with the two. Oh no! no. <laughs> oh, shoot! Oh! 
Oh man, I'm not even gonna beat my last score. I finally had the two ships. so funny these games are more stressful than the than the new games okay we're gonna do one more <laughs> that, that's the problem with this game it's like you, you start playing it it's like they did play you want to keep going until you do good and for me doing good on this game is once in a blue moon and even then it wasn't all that great because I've only got hundred eleven thousand as my high thing to do is try to get rid of as many of the ships as they're flying in. Dude, you can't fire unless you hit something. Or the, your first shell makes it past and out of the screen. Oh, come on! No! Whoop. He's coming. <laughs> oh. Perfect opportunity, because then there would have only been one other ship with... Oh, that's irritating. <laughs> oh, that would have been a perfect opportunity to get a good score. And you know they're not going to come down to beam up if they fly in a circle like that. If they fly straight towards you, then they, you know they're coming in with the, to try to beam you up. I can never remember where they're going to come down on these challenge boards. The goal is to get it lined up just right to where you can hit hit them as they're coming. Especially like here, try to get them where they're coming right back, like that. Or as they're coming down. Which... Oh, just this. Come on. Ah. Oh. Lead the target. I've got Miss Pac-Man also as one of the other vintage games that I've got. I'm going to look on Steam and see if they've got any games like Defender and games like that, or Missile Command, or Space Invaders. Get over there, get over there. Okay, there we go. Even though I did lose a guy already, I, I got my free guy already, so. Oh great, I gotta hit him twice. And I can't hit my ship. Oh good, 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 good. Oh, no, 
come on. If you're not caught, you gotta really concentrate. Cause... Oh no! Why is it that I always lose the second guy? Right away also. Try some Pac Man now. turn on the speed boost. I like to use the speed boost on it. Oh, come on. Oh, this is one of the reasons why I wanted the steering wheel over the controller for my for truck simulator. Because the controller sticks. And when you're trying to turn down canals, it's not very good. It's always good to keep Save some of those power pellets for when it starts getting harder. Let's see if we can get that cherry and not risk ourselves doing it. Oh, bugger. Oh, controller, you stinking thing sticking on me. Oh, it wouldn't let me turn. Oh, turn! <laughs> oh man, I've gotta, I've gotta use this last power pellet to get down to that other corner. Oh, run! <laughs> oh, and the red one is, seems to be the faster of all of those ghosts. I wish I had an actual Atari controller for playing this. Oh boy. Oh man. I wanted to turn there. Oh, you turned right at the wrong time. Only problem with eating the ghosts is they. They don't let. Okay. They can come back out of that box really quick and start attacking you even when the other ones are still blue. Oh, that's getting fast. I like to usually like to play it where I have the speed boost on. Whew. 
Okay. <laughs> How many of you remember playing these games in the arcades? I remember playing on the table, those tabletop arcades. That was always fun. Uh oh. farther you get into the levels, the shorter time that they stay. Oh, oh no! I gotta try to... Oh, man! Okay. This controller in this game do not mix. Oh man. Come on. Uh oh. Oh boy. Get caught. I remember. I can't remember what it was, because my mom, she used to play Miss Pac-Man, I think it was, all the time, on the Atari. I think we had found, like, a, a cheat, like, where if you got, oh, you got up inside of those tunnels, and you got going back and forth, you could actually get a bunch of free guys. Okay, we'll try it one more time. Until this controller makes my nerves go. Oh, I wanted to turn there, you stinking thing. They get you trapped in there. Oh, I should have went down this way if it would have let me. <laughs> it's so funny. Like, I'll play these games where you got zombies attacking you, and it feels less stressful than trying to go around little corners to get away from little fake ghosts! That's, that's one thing with the, um, oh, sticky controller, is it makes things so much more difficult. <laughs> It's like, you don't have to set the game on hard, you just play with this controller and, and oh my goodness, <laughs> it does it for you. Yeah. Go up. Yep. Game over. Okay, that'll be it. So, well, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you like the vintage games. I'll just kind of look into what other games I could get, and we could try some 
vintage gaming on the channel. So let me know what you think down below. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. You have a great rest of your day. Thank you.